I, I think I probably need to go back to the to the beginning. My wife, uh, prior to her her passing away, had been a serious advocate of supporting St. Jude's, and uh, after she passed away, and I had some uh, health problems, um, I found that that uh, instead of pitying myself on the why me, it was, well, wait a minute, why not me? Why not do something special to raise money for children? I contacted them at St. Jude's. Uh, the next week, they were here knocking on my door, and we talked about how we might raise money for the research hospital. And uh, uh, they wanted me to do a golf tournament or any number of things. I said, no, I said, but I think a fishing tournament would work here. And um, lo and behold, they agreed. We, so we started right from grassroots. After I'd started the tournament a couple of years, um, and, and after I, I had uh, a dissected aorta, and uh, by all rights should have passed away, except God had me intended, I think, to help children more. Um, I found out after I had started this tournament that I have a St. Jude's brand micro valve in my heart. And to really say that I'm speaking from the heart. We do cover the charter captain's costs, and that is our only cost. Nothing else for food, advertising, everything is donated by our community and our neighbors. It's a, it's a wonderful thing. From every direction, there's people that want to help if they're asked, and that's the beauty of our, of our community. This year, it will be our best year. We're, we're going to raise over $40,000 this year, despite the economy, despite everything else. People are, when, once they're participating in our program, it's like they set that money aside as their number one choice for the next year is going to be that fishing tournament. Some of our sponsors say, "Hey, I'll take uh, I'll take three boats, but you know I really only want two. So you can do whatever you want with the other one." But they could walk away with pride knowing that they are sponsoring one of our kids. People don't donate because they want to be known, but people like to donate because it's the right thing to do. And this is the wonderful thing about our communities here. We're we're just so blessed. Most of the children that we work with with ca active cancer are being treated locally at the DeVos Children's Hospital. Some of them come from the Upper Peninsula, some of them are right here in Grand Haven. Uh, they, they could be from anywhere. Uh, we are blessed to have a hospital structure like we've got so close to us. This is one of the most important parts of our tournament is the children it seems like the resiliency is amazing and how these children can be so enthused when they've just had these just disastrous events happening in their life for what reason we don't know the Kiwanis group is just fantastic and I wanted to be a part of that and get them involved so that we can make sure that this tournament is perpetuated You know, there's there's always opportunities. Uh, you know, I was looking for some people to take pictures because I would really like to have a picture of every child so that we could give them and their family a picture and, and some memento. And there's always room for people to, to come in and help clean up, set up tables, uh, chairs, just be there. They can call my number, which is really a pity number for really old guys that can't remember, 616-502-2222. We're emphatically inviting the public to come down on Thursday at noon at Chinook Pier and 
just see the joy that not only the children but the other participants have in being a part of this and, and the cleaning of the fish, they just generate so much excitement. And we'd love to have people come down and we've got plenty of food and things that have been donated by our community. Uh, so we'd be glad to give you a hot dog while you're watching the fun.